Welcome to Ranger Planet. In this video, we will tell you when animals are the most active. Please like this video, as it helps us to upload more helpful content like this. Humans can be active at all hours of the day and night. Some are busy working during the day, whilst others might work a night shift. But what about our friends from the animal kingdom? Well, around 70% of animals are active at night, these are nocturnal animals. Diurnal animals are active during daylight hours. Crepuscular animals are active around dusk called vespertine, and or dawn called machetinal. Cathemeral, or metaternal, animals' activity varies based on behavior and other factors. Animals vary in their active hours due to many factors. In general, each animal has evolved to ensure they make full use of their environment. So some creatures take advantage of daylight hours, while others have evolved to live and hunt in the darker, cooler, and more humid nighttime. This means that animals can share the environment around the clock. Animal activity. An animal's wakeful times can depend on factors like seasons, temperature, availability of prey, avoiding predators, light levels, and even humidity. For example, some flowers will open during the morning to attract bees that are more active during that time. And flowers like the moonflower, open during the evening to attract nighttime pollinators. Diurnal animals. Diurnal creatures wake and sleep with the rising and setting of the sun. Diurnal animals function less easily at night. Animals that have adapted to living in the dark hours of the night can distinguish the difference between colors and contrasts in the nocturnal world. Diurnal animals have not developed this ability. Most primates are diurnal, which includes humans. Other common diurnal creatures include many mammals, birds, and reptiles. Nocturnal animals. Many animals evolved into nighttime living and hunting. This allowed them to avoid certain predators and hunt with less competition. Nocturnal animals have developed over the years with many useful traits to help them live and be active in the dark. These include visual sensitivity to distinguish colors and to detect faint movements, learning visual landmarks, orienting to the faint patterns produced by the moon, and navigating using the constellations of stars in the sky. Let's move on to animals that are crepuscular. Crepuscular animals. These include animals that are active around dawn and dusk. Crepuscular comprises two groups. Machetinal animals are more active at dawn, such as deer and coyotes. And vespertine animals are active during twilight hours, such as moths and bats. Many crepuscular animals fall into both vespertine and machetinal and are considered to have what's called a bimodal activity pattern, such as rabbits. The term machetinal is derived from the Latin word mototinus, meaning pertaining to the morning. Whereas vespertine is derived from the Latin word vesper, simply meaning evening. Dawn includes the hours where light from the sun provides visibility, but the sun has not yet crested the horizon. Twilight is the time of day that falls between day and night when there is light still available, but the sun is below the horizon. Twilight times are also known as dusk or pre-dawn. This is different from animals that are nocturnal and diurnal. Some crepuscular animals might also be active during daytime with low light levels, such as an overcast day or active during the night when there is more light, such as by moonlight. Similar to their diurnal relatives, many familiar mammal species are crepuscular, including some bats, hamsters, house cats, stray dogs, rabbits, ferrets, and rats. Other crepuscular mammals include members of the large cat family such as jaguars, ocelots, bobcats, wombats, wallabies, and hyenas. Some birds such as the barn owl and nightjar fall into the crepuscular vespertine group. A vast array of insects including many moths are also active during the hours of dusk and twilight. Let's now look at machetinal and vespertine animals who fall into crepuscular activity at either end of the day. Machetinal animals. Machetinal is a crepuscular animal that is active more during the early morning or pre-dawn. Pre-dawn is the hour before the sun rises. It's during this time that these animals are active and busy carrying out their important business for the day, such as foraging, hunting, or mating. During these hours there may be more food available than for their nocturnal cousins it may also help these animals to avoid predation by other animals who are active during the day and night. Examples of machetinal animals include bees, gerbils, rats, and other rodents. Vespertine animals. Vesper was a type of prayer practiced in medieval times relating to the evening. From this word, we arrived at an animal who is known as a vespertine. These animals use the low light of dusk to hunt and mate. Low light levels mean they can hunt more effectively. The vespertine group of animals mainly includes insects, such as moths and flies, and species of bats and owls. 
Similar to their machetinal cousins, these animals can also fall into the crepuscular group, but will hunt mainly at twilight rather than early morning. Cathemeral animals. Cathemeral animals are active either as nocturnal, night, diurnal, day, or crepuscular, dawn slash dusk, and distribute their time evenly among these categories. Some animals can move from one category to another when it suits them. Reasons for being cathemeral include the availability of food, less risk of predation, temperature, or seasonal changes. It's amazing to think that for the animal kingdom, all times of the day and night can be busy. So that's it for today. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more then hit the like button before you go. Thank you for watching.